After being the first flying car to get road permission for Europe, PAL-V is now also the first to complete the full certification basis with ESA. Based on PAL-V's 10 years of test results, ESA specialist teams finalized the requirements for the PAL-V Liberty. PAL-V worked together with ESA to amend the complete list of over 1,500 criteria, to make it applicable for the PAL-V. The list was published last year for review by industry experts and the final version was published last week. The development of the requirements started in 2009. More than 10 years of analysis, test data, flight tests, and drive tests, led to this important milestone. In parallel, it already started compliance demonstration to obtain the type certificate, which will be followed by delivery of vehicles to their customers. Liberty has the dual engine propulsion drive train is based on two fully certified airplane engines from Rotax. It is designed within the current certification and regulations frameworks for the vast majority of countries in the world. No rules or regulations need to be changed to be allowed to use the vehicle. To fly Liberty you need to have license. This can be obtained through one of the many flight schools in the world. To be able to operate an airplane you will need some basic knowledge of navigation, instruments, meteorology, aerodynamics and performance. The Liberty will be assembled in the Netherlands. Specific parts and systems are manufactured by leading companies from a number of countries. Liberty flying car can achieve a maximum speed of 180 km per hour, and can be in the air for a distance of up to 500 km.